Hi, I'm Sean Charlesworth. And I'm Jeremy Williams. I'm the 3D printing and fabrication specialist for Tested. I like to tinker with code and electronics. This show is about making things. It's about the journey from the computer screen to something that you can actually hold in your hands. From bits to atoms. Sean, that thermal detonator was a piece of work. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> That was, to we, everybody. I think we involved everybody on the Tested team. Yeah, it kind of spiraled out of control. Now, I loved that experience, but I'm ready to have some fun, just to relax yeah, for I this could, project. I could use some, a little, yeah, yeah, step down. All right, so I'm not saying it has to be easy, but, but I, I kind of had this crazy idea, and I realize it's a crazy idea, but it could be fun. Okay. Now, there's a, there's a type of toy that I'm a bit of a fan of. All right. Ah, nice. You've seen these before, right? Yes. Quadcopters. I was at the Exploratorium, uh, which is a fantastic hands-on children's museum that we have here in the Bay mm -hmm. Area. You've been here before, right? Yep. Okay. Well, the, at the Exploratorium, they have a multiplayer game of Snake, where you one player controls up, one's left, one's right, one's down, right? So four people control this thing moving around the screen. And it's amazing how hard it is. Now, I was thinking, what if you were to take a quadcopter controller and take it apart and make it a multiplayer experience to f simply fly a quadcopter? Yeah. Would even hovering be a struggle? That, that's my proposal. That sounds awesome. An experiment, a yeah. whimsical experiment, if yeah. you will. Um, and th there's a few ways we could go about this, right? We, we could try to intercept the signals from this device and create our own radio and... That sounds hard. That sounds hard to me too. Yeah. So I, I suggest that we take apart this controller okay. and tap into it and see if we can just manipulate the controller using our own little hardware. And okay, okay. So, yeah, so then you, you're, you just are hardware-wise separating it. Yes, okay. exactly. Uh, it's, it's a hardware hack. Got so, it. so there'd be, I don't know if there's any code involved in this at all. This is a hardware hack. A couple years ago, I hacked a controller to make a uh, simulated rover on Mars. It was for the oh, Tested Live that, show. Yeah. And, and you would program it and then it would go. Now that was easy because the, the controller was all buttons. Mm -hmm. So it was just digital stuff. Okay. Uh, this one, th these are analog uh, switches, right? So like to make it however you go a little bit and a little bit more. Um, right. So we have to open this up. I have a feeling that all the different directions are, are just potentiometers okay. that are limiting voltage, uh, you know, depending on where they are in their throw. Right. And there would be four of them because you have two axes on each. Okay. Which that would correspond to the four players. <laughs> I'm hoping. So we, we would we'd break apart each axis into its own controller controlled by a potentiometer if I'm right about how this works. Right. So there's going to be a person controlling uh, the up and down, yes, and then left and right, and yes. well, how well like a with, strafe, yes. right? Okay, and then okay, and then and then a forward and reverse, and then and then a yaw, that's oh, the tricky one, right, 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 and then yes, a forward and reverse, because not all, not all quads do all not all quads have the side to side, or do they pr typically have that? All the ones that I have do, like okay. the, the Phantom is like the go to, mm -hmm. and that's how it behaves, which is the exact same way that this micro quad behaves. This one has a camera built into it, so we could even record footage <laughs> of what this happens. And what, if, what if, if once we get this working, there's actually something compelling there and we create some sort of obstacle course for people <laughs> yes, to fly through? Yes, 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 we have to do this. So we have four people trying to, to muddle through this obstacle yes. course. Yeah, I mean, and what if four people are good and then they compete with another four people? Right. This could be fun. Oh no, we gotta do it. All right, I'm glad so, you're on board. All right, so I, I, this sounds like a very electronics heavy thing, so yes. what can I do for you? Um, I would love for you to help with the, with the control device. So we have to break it apart into four different controllers. I would love your help making those. Oh, like a housing or exactly. something like that? Yeah, so it, one, let's take this apart first, tinker with it, and then if we find out that it is in fact just potentiometers controlling that, I'll get you the potentiometer that we'll use, Okay. and then you just build a housing around it. It's going to be a little dial that, okay. that turns, and we'll just need those attached to levers or knobs or right. whatever, you, whatever you think would work well. I, I'm thinking like a big lever, like it'd be fun to like control the quadcopter <laughs> like going like that. 
But, um, you know, sky's the limit. It doesn't even have to be 3D right. printed, you know? It could be made right, out right. of wood. No, or no, what, what yeah, we don't, we're not restricting ourselves to that. So we're, we do whatever fabrication yeah. is appropriate for the job. Cool. Yeah, so whatever, if it's a PVC tube, whatever. <laughs> so you wanna crack this open and take a look? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's head to the shop. Okay. All right, so let's take this thing apart yes. and see what's inside. Uh, it runs on, looks like six volts. Right. Uh, we're gonna leave the batteries in there. I assume that there's going to be a wire connecting this half to this half. Right, yeah. Uh, so let's be careful when we take it apart. But other okay. than that, we're gonna rip it open and probe at it and see what we got. Yes, probe it. All right, moment of truth. Let's see here. You got it. Yeah. So okay. here is, this, this would be where our left joystick connects. Mm -hmm. And here would be the right joystick over here. It looks like there's, yeah, so this would be one axis. This would be the other axis. This is looking like a potentiometer. So you've got a ground. You can tell that this is the ground pin because it's connected, it's connected to the ground plane. Okay. And then you have what I assume is voltage because it's, they're shared. And then this third pin, the middle pin, would be the signal pin. If you say so. Right? Because <laughs> th th those, those would run to the processor. Yeah. Okay. So um, the, I'm assuming, and we should test this with a, with a meter, is we're going to get six volts from this. Okay. Or whatever voltage it's using. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll go to ground there, test that first. And then if we measure voltage here, it should change voltage when we move the stick. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. So let's test that out. You want to power that up? All right. So I'm going to put the throttle all the way down. So we're I'm assuming down. this is the throttle. Right here? Yeah, let me get the meter over here. So the far right here? Yeah, let's start with that. Just measure the voltage uh, the other way around. That would be negative. Got it. Yep, and then the far left. See what kind of voltage we get. Okay, so it's a three volt logic. Okay. So 3.3 .3 is gonna be the maximum, and then we should see, go ahead and do the uh, ground on the same one. Okay. And the middle pen, yeah. So that's 1. interesting. 6. So that's, that's all the way down. Okay. And then if I raise the throttle, no, that's weird. Why is that steady? Try moving the pins around. Try try the ground on the try the first two pins maybe. So yeah, here uh -huh. in here. Yeah. Okay. No. No. I not wonder, much. Is it? Oh, that's the left and right. Okay, so go over to the right one. That makes sense, because it's in the middle. Okay. It, so, the, yeah, that was in the middle. It was right in the middle of 0 and 3.3. .3, which Oh, and okay. That, okay, that yeah, one's yeah. on a spring, so it's centered. Right, so where do you want to go? The Over there. Okay, these yeah. guys. Uh, where do you want? Uh, Ground on the bottom. Okay. And then the red in the middle, the signal pin. All right. There we go. So that's nothing, because it's all the way down. And as right. I raise the throttle, hopefully we will see. There it goes. We got all so the that's to that's we're controlling. Okay, so that's a throttle. Yeah. You said? Okay. There we go. So that's cool. that. All right. So we go from zero to three point three, linearly. If I go right in the middle, it's half okay. voltage. All right. Um, cool. That's cool. Nice. All right. So so now we know the axes too. So this is going to be throttle. Mm -hmm. This is what is it? Side to side movement. Yeah, and then. Uh, this would be yaw, right? And that would be uh, up down, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So now that I have a sense of how these work, I think it's worthwhile just giving it a test. So if this, so this is varying the voltage. So how, how could we test it? Let's hook up, let's hook up the benchtop power supply okay. to these pins. Just so one of us will hold them yeah. in place. The yeah. other person will adjust the benchtop power supply and slowly increase it and see if the quadcopter takes off. Make sure this is working. There we go. Okay. So now, I guess there's some sort of handshake that the controller does with the quadcopter. Right. Well, it doesn't work until that's finished. Okay. So now, if I'm right, if we apply voltage to these, we'll get we'll get the motor suspended. Okay. We don't even have to take off. No, no, no. I just want to see if right. it actually works. So, uh, so which was the? You're gonna put uh, ground on the, the bottom pin. Okay. Power on the middle pin. Don't touch the other one. I will not. This is a what could go wrong kind of situation. I'm gonna stay away from the quadcopter. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God! <laughs> Do you know what happened? You hit the joystick underneath. So you, you, you made it take off. <laughs> All right, so we're, miss, we're, missing, oh, we're missing a propeller. 
Take two, I have removed the propellers, at least all but one. So hopefully we're in good shape. Okay, so you're on that. I'm going to slowly increase the voltage. All right. There we go. Yes! Nice. That's, so that's 0.2 volts. If I go to 0.3, yeah. That's awesome. That, All right. We don't need to do any more than that. That, that, that confirms works. our theory. Though. Awesome. All right. So, so just at having some kind of knob for each yes. channel is going to totally work. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah, I will get you uh, four potentiometers. Okay. Uh, we will convert those into some sort of, you'll convert them to some sort of control. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, maybe they're not all the same. I, I think they should be a little, like they should, they should represent the movement as best as, as possible to, right. to be intuitive. Right. So then it will be like running a starship where everyone's, except everyone's driving it. <laughs> <laughs> so, every, you know, the, the so, throttle has a certain control. Y'all has a certain control. Right. So maybe for like the throttle, the pot comes out the side and we have a lever on right. it. Maybe then for uh, the yaw, we literally just have a knob because that uh -huh. would, yeah. So, yeah. Right. Got it. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, yeah. this is going to be fun, right? Yeah. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Off we go. All right, Sean. So I went home and I took apart the controller. Let's see. I went to all those little um, terminals with it that we found were connected to the potentiometers. Right. And I connected some wires to them. Now, I decided not to, to do uh, 12 wires. Okay. Because that seemed crazy. <laughs> so I decided to go with so, six. Okay. So how how'd you go from 12 to six? Well, what that means is there's all of the controls are gonna share a ground and power line. That seems reasonable. Right? It doesn't seem, it's not like they're gonna to be too far apart, mm -hmm. right? So that way we just, we run one power and ground out of the controller into the first of a series of, of controls, knobs that you'll design. Right, okay? right. So they'll all be sort of daisy chained together. Okay, great. Uh, but each one independently then has its own control wire that, that sends the signal. Okay. Okay, cool. That's. That's still a lot of wires, so that seems much more reasonable. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and, for, and this is the solid core stuff, which I tend not to use, but it's what I had on hand, yeah. and hopefully it'll be all right here. Yeah. Um, I did have to completely <laughs> kill this controller. We will not be using the this controller anymore. It has served its last day <laughs> as a functional so, remote controller. Because you had mentioned before that you wanted to tr try to keep it functional as well as the boxes, the breakout boxes. It's not that I don't have faith in our project. <laughs> But it, it's always good to have a backup, awesome. especially yeah, when you're flying something that could potentially put an eye out. Right. Yeah. All right. So this will no longer be flying anything. It just works as a as a relay for our controls. The problem was, uh, it, the where I needed to solder and cut traces, it was just too sensitive. Like I didn't trust myself to not yeah. kill it entirely. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but I did find out what the potentiometers look like. They're these tiny little guys. This is what they look like on the actual joysticks inside the controller itself. So are these like uh, the, the, what the joystick itself is tying into, or is yeah. this like the trim type of thing? Or is this no? Like, that's this the actual, actual potentiometer. Oh the, wow! The joystick has the springs built in, and you know that they're four-way joysticks. Yeah. But they just have these little you know shafts that come out that rotate this. I had no idea. That's not at all what I expected. And it's exactly like what we'll be working with. So, okay, so that I was wondering, like, because I was picturing joystick, and then you said you're going to use potentiometers. I'm like, huh, why wouldn't we just use joysticks? But this makes sense now. A joystick <laughs> is nothing but potentiometers. Okay, so how do these work exactly? Well, a potentiometer is basically a variable resistor. Okay. In fact, I have a little experiment set up over here so I can demonstrate what they are. We should take a look at that. Let's go over okay. here. All right, so this right here is a potentiometer, identical to what we're, we're going to be using in our remotes, Got okay? It. I have this hooked up to a, a power supply here, running 3.3 mm -hmm. 3 volts, just like the batteries are gonna be delivering okay. on there. Um, we'll read the voltage coming out of the potentiometer using this multimeter. So go ahead and, and touch those two leads together. <coughs> <laughs> right. And then if you rotate, right now, you'll see on the display here, we're getting 1.7 volts. Right. That tells me it's in the middle. Right. So if you rotate that, okay. that's gonna change mm -hmm. the amount of resistance. Oh, I got it in the line. Interesting. So if you rotate it one way, there's no resistance, and you get the full 3.3 volts coming through. Got it. The other way, full resistance. is 500 or 5,000 ohms, which just kills the signal. Yeah. So j just like what we were reading off of, directly off the board when we were messing with the joysticks. Exactly. Okay. So it's nothing more than a variable resistor. You know, some confusion that I've run into, because I'm still not, you know, 
really up on a lot of this stuff, but there's like, there's things that look like potentiometers, but they're actually like rotary encoders and they work a little differently and you need like actual coding to make them work correctly, right? Over my head. Okay, all right, so I've... I've... All I know is I bought potentiometers <laughs> and that's what we need. All right, good. <laughs> Okay, so you gave me one of the pots to, yep. to do a little breakout control box. So we're gonna do a breakout control for each of the different axes. So right. I did, I got one done just to see if this is gonna work. Let's see. So basically, uh, so a really good tip with this kind of stuff is uh, you, you need to get the whole size right, you need to get the whole depth right, and then this particular pot has this little pin on it that oh, is, it, keys it. it keeps it from rotating when cool. you don't want it to, mm -hmm. you know? Sometimes what you can do is go to the manufacturer's website and they'll actually have a little blueprint of like, of the layout. So you can get exactly the spacing, the whole size, right. perfect the first time. We got these off of Amazon. So I just took calipers and I kind of measured everything. It took like two tries, but it, it all turned out fine. Okay, cool. So I just did a little box, good for a handhold size, and I made a, a generous size knob. And as requested, we did a little hash mark so that we can center this because we need to. It's really important. Because center is going to be off, right? So and then, essentially, yeah. And then, uh, and then whichever way we get will, you it, know, be the opposite or it's whatever. It's not off, but these the the real joysticks automatically center themselves for three of the different axes. So we'll have to do it by hand. But yes, that's, yes, that's fine. Yes, we can no, do totally, that. totally. Um, um, uh, and then and then we'll just th thread the wires through, wire it up, and then uh -huh. you said we need we, you said we need a jumper to go from box to box. Right, like a yeah. We'll, we'll have to figure that out. I mean, we we can have just power and ground going into each, but they'll have to then come back out. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you think that'll work? I think that's going to be great. I, I mean, that's also works really well because we didn't know how far the throw would be, and so you didn't <laughs> yeah. want to have to like limit it. So this full dial range is great. Yeah. So I think like this, and then like we were talking that maybe one will have uh, one coming out the side that has like the lever for like uh -huh. up down or the throttle or whatever. Okay. Right? Yeah, great. Okay, I great. mean, even for these, you could hold the hold it like that for throttle and okay. that way for steering. Hey, that makes yeah, right. it easier, good to go, so. right? Right. Okay. Okay, so let's let's get to soldering. Can we keep rolling, Joey? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. A little unorthodox, but it, it worked. I mean, the wiring worked. Who knows if it actually will work? Okay. There's a million so, things that could go wrong. Maybe the wiring is too long. Maybe the voltage is gonna drop so far over the oh, wiring. Oh, you, you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These, this is why we're having fun here. This is where we're gonna find out. This is, not, okay. this is not exactly according to their warranty, right? Mm, true. Now, what we've done is we have wired Daisy chain power and ground right, from so one to the next, and we have run a single control cable to each one right. that will send back that variable resistance mm -hmm. into here. And this board should think it's these joysticks. Okay. The oh. only thing to do now is to center all of them. That one, that's the throttle. Yeah. So that one goes to zero. Got it. Now, which way is zero, you ask? Hmm. That's an excellent question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the other, th I mean, the okay. other, we could measure, we could measure and find Sure, out. sure. The worst case scenario is it just, it's going to turn the motor on real fast. So all of the others we want to center uh, because that's what, how they are on the... Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn this whole way to the left. So okay. on this one actually, so this is actually good to point out. So yep. on this one we want the, we want the hash mark to probably be more like down here and here, because those are the two important points. Oh, right? how about all three? Because yeah. it, it can't hurt. You have center and the extremes. Okay, so then it's a multi-purpose. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, um, you just kind of have to like guesstimate where center is unless we're gonna put it on the uh, meter. Yeah, so I went to the extreme, went to the other extreme, and I put it approximately in the center. So now, the next step is to turn it on and turn on the quadcopter and see what happens. Okay, let's do it. I can't wait to see what happens. Me too. <laughs> all right, dude. We're set up here. Do you think it's gonna work? Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> I feel right. like uh, we should have face shields though. All right, so the first, 
I also realized it won't just take off because it does require you to calibrate the throttle when you, when you turn it on. Oh, that's good. So we're going to find out whether this is working or not right now when you turn on that controller. So go ahead and do that. We have a light. Yep. Now it shouldn't do anything until... Oh. Uh, okay, move that. Like up and down? A little, little bit, just a little bit. Go all the way up and then all the way back down. Okay. Oh boy. Is that doing anything? Yeah. Ah! Do you think it needs to be in the middle to start? Or, or like, mm. where's throttle start? Is throttle in? Uh, throttle's yeah. usually like all the way down. Okay, let, maybe we should try it at the opposite end and then, and then try it again. All right. Let's try it. Why did that beep? Oh. You move that right now. Go ahead and move that, th that thing up and down. All the way up and all the way down? Mm. Nothing? Mm. Man, ah, hmm? oh, this is disappointing. I'm disappointed. Well, I mean, I don't suppose it needs to be on the ground, right? It's not because I'm holding it, is it? Oh, you know, it could be. Because it's not uh, steady enough. Well, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my God, are we rolling? <laughs> okay, look, 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 look. It was because I was holding it. Because it, it's that's like it's doing its calibration. Yeah, it was me. like the yeah. accelerometer. Check it out. Whoop whoop. Oh my god! <laughs> it's working. Yes. Wow. Nice job, Jerry. I can't nice believe job. it's working. I am way more excited about <laughs> this than I have any right to be. This is crazy. Because it's ridiculous. Wow. All right. Okay. So that that. All right, so that, yeah. now we have all the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, so check this out. So, Jeez, how are we gonna test so that? So green is pitch, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna be in charge of pitch <laughs> going forwards and backwards. <laughs> okay. Slow movements, are you ready? And as far as we know, we have these kind of centered, so yeah. Right, you ready? Yep. Bring it back, bring it back. Other way, other way, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're all right, we're all right. All right, now you know which way is forward and which way is back. Uh, uh, yes. Are you ready? Sure. Oh, it's upset now. It's uh, upset. Oh, it's do. very upset. That's even blinking red. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. All right. You ready now? I guess. Other way, other way. There you go. Pull it back, pull it back. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this is just with two people. I'm just, just saying, just saying. Ready? Yeah. All right, all right, you throttle. I'm gonna try oh. to pitch. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's just we're we're finding what our, where our strengths are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you, what are you doing? I, I right. was, uh, I don't right. know. Oh, Jesus! You can't turn that I dial. Didn't, I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn the dial. I swear <laughs> to God. All right, here we go. We're gonna put this down. All right. Now, very slowly, slowly move it up. Just, just until it's just about to take off. Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, there we are. Okay, now give it a little more. Oh, wow. Yeah, whoa, that was weird. Give it a little more, a little less. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh God. All right, let it down, let's land it, land it. Oh, professional <laughs> landing. All right, I think the next step is clear. We need to finish off our controllers. You make three, <laughs> three more of these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, then, and then practice, practice, practice. And then I say we make a, some sort of obstacle course, <laughs> which might consist of two tables go from this table to this table. I think, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring in uh, a couple more players in order to, to work the other controls. Yeah. And I think we might have um, the world's greatest um, <laughs> it, real world video game here on my hands. I. I think so too. I, I, I'm excited this is working. Me too. <laughs> I don't know if I should be one of the pilots. <laughs> I don't, no one should be it's, one it's of It's really pilots. stressful. Imagine if we were using one of the bat, big guys for this. Oh God, we'd all be dead. That's lethal. It's actually gonna have to take like dedicated, we're gonna have to sit down and practice because there's no way we're gonna get it. We're like, gonna be the best in the world at this yeah. by the time we're done. Yeah. So let's, let's figure out what these controls are, get the obstacle course together, and we'll have a little bit of fun. All right, I think we're ready to do this, Sean. Yeah. 
So I went home and I made a bunch of little obstacle loops. These are awesome. I thought about going hula hoop size, but it seemed, mm, it seemed yeah. like too easy. Yeah, totally. Especially given the size of our mini quad. So I got an 18 inch hoop. I lined them with LEDs. Yep. And the, I, the idea is we'll be able to get through six of them. The, real, the realistic <laughs> possibility is we won't get through one of them. But we're gonna give it our best. <laughs> I, I'd have no trouble getting through all six, like flying it regularly. So, yeah. <laughs> and what did you do here? These are these are the enclosures. Yeah. So we didn't. Um, this wasn't super heavy on three D printing this time, but yep. we did make some enclosure boxes. Uh, I did a little time lapse of that, and um, so I got some strain relief going on with uh, cable ties here. Right. And we have it, underneath these are little pins to hold the pots from sliding around, so it it, it centers them. And we did. You, we should talk about your flea market find. <laughs> yeah, I did. I dropped $10 on this uh, ship wheel. $10 well spent. I mean, I probably could have talked him down to seven, but I just went, I, I couldn't resist it. It seemed yeah. perfect. So this will be yaw. Yeah. Uh, this will be, you know, the, the quadcopter doing this number, which potentially actually is the least amount of work because we could do a course just by sort of strafing through it. Sure. Which is probably the smart thing to do because that keeps your controls relative to the craft. Right. Relative to you, rather. Right. Um, if we start to steer, it that gets a lot more complicated. But still, this has to be the captain. Don't you agree Absolutely. that we need someone as a leader? We oh, yeah. We can't have four people um, doing what they think is best. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not that this is going to solve everything. But I, I think a leader is necessary. I'm suggesting this one is the leader just because it looks the most official. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then we have this control over here for basically throttle. Yeah. Um, and this one, we start decelerated and it cranks all the way up to acceleration. Yeah. Everything else starts in the middle. Yaw for for that. And then this one is, uh, I believe, side to side. And that I one's going to be forward to I back. I think that's right, yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. And yeah. uh, when I did these, originally we talked about doing like like a lever type thing for the throttle. Right. Kind of thing. And the interesting thing, I actually had that design. There's an extra hole in these where I put a rod in. But the travel on the pots is so great that you'd basically be like, like yeah. It's just, it's, so I had to go with knobs. It's on. more than 180 degrees. Yeah. Like you'd have to be so, off the side of the table. Yeah, that's something that when you spec parts, you don't think about often. It's like, you know, how big the throw, how many degrees it is for right. movement. So it's all things you got to come, you know, have consideration. All right. So the course consists of six hoops to jump through, <laughs> to fly through, as it were. <laughs> um, the quad will start by lifting off through the easiest one. All it is is up. Right, that seems completely doable. Right, then we'll head over here to these three hoops, where the so idea they'll, they'll be down lower. Yeah, they'll be yeah. lower. The idea is we'll do a serpentine kind of thing, where you go in one, back through red, <laughs> and then into blue. I thought this was gonna be like fly across the room. <laughs> and then we've got red here, which will be a lateral movement through there. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. No. And then way up in the sky to big blue up there. That's gonna be difficult. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to see real well at this point. However, <laughs> it's possible. So this is really like, right. this well, is a glory can, shot. Yeah, totally. Go through there, come all the way back, best we can, back down through green. If we can do this, I honestly think this will be something we, for the We deserve books. a special treat if uh, we make this. So, so we we're gonna need some co-pilots. Well, yes, and just to, to be clear, we, I don't know how many tries it's gonna take, we have five batteries to work with here. Okay. Uh, so uh, given the video recording, this will be recording video maybe five minutes per flight, per battery, I'm not sure. Yeah. In any case, that's our time limit. I think that's pretty, pretty generous. So yeah, let's bring in some ringers here and uh, give this a try. Okay. I think we can find a couple people around the office that might be willing to help us out. I think so. This guy, <laughs> this other guy. <laughs> All right, Captain Gashore, give the word. <laughs> Engage engines. Take it slow, Sean. Ooh. Ah! Oh. Oh, yeah! Yes! Yes! What? Keep it up, keep it up. So okay, Jerry, you got. So I'm I'm on front and back. I got straight, but I'm not gonna. Whoa! That's right. I, I can bring it back. back. I can bring it back. Whoa! 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 Get it, get it right height. Oh, oh. I'm bringing it back a little bit. 
Alright, okay. Uh, w- which one do we throw? Why is it going so high? <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, this is really tough. Oh, there it is! It is! Alright, that's good, that's good. Which one do you want to get through? Through the green, through the green! Oh! No. oh. <laughs> Engage, full thrust forward! Oh, level it off, turn, turn! <laughs> I was right on! on. Your turn! <laughs> you want to- Engage. Nice. nice. Move forward. Turn. Turn. Oh! What just happened? That was amazing! Wait, hold on, hold on. What are we, what are we going for, Captain? Going for the red. Going for the red. Let's go up a little bit. I, up I, a little bit. Up that, a little I think that's all you, Norm. Oh, the, the high red. Okay. Oh! oh we're we're going 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Engage. Nice. Let's ease our forward. To the left, to the left. What are you doing then? Put it down the middle. All right. Okay, here we Engage. Go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I panicked, but I got in my face. Holy cow! Whoa! <laughs> Where did that prop go? Strafe him to success. Ready? Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, move forward. Move forward. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa, more altitude. Go for the blue. Go for the blue. Why are we hurting? Easy you on the yacht. Wait, wait, I think it still counts. We're yeah, still, we're, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. All right. Top red, top red. <laughs> well, we're turning. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Land, land. Oh, there we go. <laughs> go for the blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> you all right? Did it get you? I'm good. Only a little. All right. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah! All right, where are we going? Slow down. Whoa, whoa, it's easy, y'all. Uh... <laughs> Did he go through? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good bounce back. Oh, okay. Light's still veering that way. Oh, yeah. center point where we need to oh, okay. start. This is a subtle control. You're not, you're just keeping us so that the ship is oriented away from us. Blue light's away from us. Blue is away from us yeah. and right is right and left is left. Yeah. And it's very sensitive. Well, you actually have to move quite a bit to make it respond. <laughs> it is right, step awesome. back. <laughs> and you're going to call out which hoops you want us to fly through. Oh, okay. All right. Now we are all focused on our one, our only, only axis is the one we're controlling. You ready? I'm ready. Go on. All right. Okay, blue. Oh, need a little more lift. Mm-hmm. A little higher. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to yell? Yes, yes. All right. I'm okay. sorry. Left! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, green. Left! You got it. Oh, God. So oh, so overcorrection time. Oh. Over. oh. Okay. <laughs> so as long as it's uh, oriented like yeah, this. Right. Okay, so who's clockwise and counterclockwise? 
you. You. You're y'all. I'm this yes, way. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I'm strafing. We should have spent some Oh, okay. I thought I we was... Should have, we've I also... Uh, Jeremy and I went back and fixed the controls so everything is right on now. Yeah. Some of them are a little backwards. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Up! Oh! Height. Height. More height. <laughs> Stable. Take okay. Green. We're going to go for green. Okay, wait for me. There we go. Excellent. Well done. Keep going, oh, Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! No, oh, left, left, oh. left, 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 oh. left, oh. 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 Come on, come on back! Come on back! <laughs> 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 wow! That was, that was the most successful flight I think yet. Well, it's because you called it a pro. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's got the hat. Do you want to try a different axis? No! Alright. <laughs> Why? No. Why mess with perfection? <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna go for red next. Let's red. go left! Okay, stop. That's it. A little more height, more height, more height, more height. Okay. Come back around. Okay, forward, forward. Less height. That's it! Yeah! Okay, let's gently land, gently land. Oh! That was me. <laughs> Light pulls, man. They get you every time. Alright. Okay, here we go. Alright. We're gonna go through blue and blue this time. Blue, Ready? Blue. All blue. Ready. Lift. Okay. Ooh. Now I no longer. It's no it's, longer. It, you gotta give it a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. There you go. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, ooh. Okay. Ooh. That's it. Let's go straight forward. Excellent. That's now up. Let's go up, but not too high. Excellent. Okay. Now forward. Jesus Christ. Oh. Where is okay, it? Four is, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> this is the most sensitive instrument right here, isn't it? No, this is... Oh, 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 oh sorry. Yeah. Hopefully I'm back to center. Okay, ready? Yep. Lift! Okay. We're gonna go through red. Ooh, that height is great. Excellent. That's it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's going on with left to right? <laughs> who's who's falling asleep on the job there? It's doing too much turning. Well, it's oh, you're blaming me! <laughs> <laughs> We're probably gonna break this. Okay, okay, here we go. Red, going through red. So forward, slight, gently, 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 lower the height. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna Cla uh, counterclockwise. Yep. Oh wow. no! Nice. All right, all right. Now, everyone, chill. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna turn and face back. We're gonna come back through blue. That's oh, crazy. God. That's so, crazy. Left to right, move to the right. That's it. Excellent! Oh, yeah! yeah! Come back in for landing. Come, come back in. Height, 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 height. That's it. There we go. Oh, oh that was me. Oh. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Lift. Excellent. I'm turning. That's it. Good. Good. Sean, that's perfect. Okay, Norm. Right. Okay. Sean, come. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it. Okay, come back. Sean, backwards. Oh, 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 oh. we're still good. Okay. Everybody, okay. Throttle, throttle stable. Stabilize, stabilize. Oh, I guess we're coming back to blue. <laughs> nope. We're no, we're coming back to red. Okay, so Norm, to the right. Gently, 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 sir. Okay, Sean, gently come back for it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. Gunther. Oh, oh no. What's the that, battery? Batteries. Come back this way, come back this way. There we go, we're going to red. Oh! <laughs> That's like low battery, gotta go for it. <laughs> exactly, we all thought it the might... same thing. We're gonna go through green, Gr back okay. through red, right. blue, and red. through blue. All right. And after that, I don't care. Okay. All right. Here we go, lift. That's good. Norm to the right. A little more throttle. Gently, everybody. Excellent. Excellent. Less throttle. Okay. Forward, Sean. That's excellent. Ready. Perfect. Okay, Very stop. Perfect. That's it. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. Right. Norm, there we go. Okay, Sean. Back slowly. A little more throttle. A little more throttle. Oh, yes! Okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh, Gently, 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 gently. Everyone settle. Okay, a little more throttle. 
Okay, John. Yeah! Yeah! What? That's crazy. <laughs> red, red up high, red, red up high. Everything goes to hell. The chain of command falls to pieces. Oh my god. That was so much fun. That was fun, right? That was amazing. All right, good. <laughs> Sean, my man, that was fun. I, I would label this a total success. Yes. I, way beyond my expectations. And honestly, I was pretty optimistic, but I didn't think we'd actually get through three hoops like that. That was great. I, I, Adam's leadership, I think he uh, calmed our minds a little bit and got us to focus yeah. on like taking our time a little bit more. And, uh, in, in Kishore's defense, <laughs> we did fix the controls yes. after he left. Uh, we, we pretty much kind of, we because when we were wiring, kind of yeah. wiring in the dark, and we discovered that the left and right was backwards. Right. And we adjusted the throttle uh, to be a little more on. So it, that helped a lot, I think. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, so I was actually surprised that the potentiometers actually ended up working as well as they did, given all of this resistance that's coming through this wiring. <laughs> you know, it's meant to be like a two inch trace that's inside of that controller. It wasn't yeah. meant to work this way. And, and they have a pretty big throw on them too. Like exactly. you have to like, exactly. shoot, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, so. so anyway, this is a lot of fun. I mean, if you guys actually have a, a quadcopter you're not using anymore, maybe you want to make a project out of it. It's pretty simple. You open it up, you solder some wires in, and you get some potentiometers. Uh, this was a ton of fun. I mean, a four-player quadcopter is something that is so hard that you want to master it. I mean, because you can tell, like, the controls are dead simple. Yeah. I should be able to do this. We should be able to do this. Uh, but it takes some practice. But once you get a little bit of practice, it's such a good feeling. Uh, you know, and I'll throw uh, I'll throw the boxes up on Thingiverse. So if yep. you want to make your own control boxes, and we can let them know what pots we use, so if they want to recreate it, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, well, until next time, then. I until next time. Thanks for watching, Biz to Adams, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>